Greetings programmers. We have one more function to go through until uh, we finish this eight queens problem. So let's take a look at what we have. Uh, this is the find friends in up ramp diagonal and we just completed the find friends in down ramp diagonal. So in the down ramp we would take a look at a queen and then we would look at the top of the diagonal and we would move towards um, the left border and the top border which is in the negative direction for columns and in the negative direction for rows. But now we're going to look for um, the top right corner of a diagonal. And so we're going to move in the negative direction for uh, rows to find that uh, top of the diagonal. But we're going to move in the positive direction for the columns. So that's the opposite direction. For the columns. So let's take a look at um, what that's going to look like. First of all, we're going to do something that's very similar to our find friend and down wrap diagonal, so we can kind of look to that for uh, some inspiration. We'll have our friend found boolean, initialize that to false. Uh, we still need our boolean to see if we're inside um, the chessboard. And we'll initialize that to true. We'll assume we're inside the chessboard. Um, now we want to find the distance um, to the top of the diagonal. Here we're talking about the top of our um, up ramp diagonal. And we're still going to use a math.min. But now um, we're going in the uh, same direction for the row. But we're in the negative direction for the column. Right, so when we're in you know, row zero, we're still at a zero distance to that top right um, corner of the diagonal. But for the columns, um, we have to subtract from seven. So you see here, when to get to the top of this diagonal, it's not the row that's going to get us there, it's the minimum of seven minus um, our column location. Column location here is six. So 7 minus 6 is 1, so that puts us um, here. Here our column location is 7, 7 minus 7 is 0, so this is the top of our uh, up ramp diagonal there. So we will take 7 minus our column to get us there. And before I forget, we don't want to return false anymore, right? We want to return our friend found. So we only want to return false if we don't find any friends. So now we'll, we'll get um, our start location, which will be you know, the starting, uh, the row location for the top of that diagonal. And that's going to be the row that was passed in minus the distance to the top of the diagonal. And then for the column, that column location is going to be the column we passed in, but now we're going to add the distance to the top of the diagonal, right? If we go back and take a look at our queen, if here's where we started to get to the top of the diagonal, we have to add one to get here. We have to go from column six to column seven. Uh, so now we can do our for loop and our for loop is gonna be actually exactly the same. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it up there because we want to walk through the diagonal, um, not our array. And once we're walking through the diagonal, we get our row location by taking our start row. And then we add the location we are on the diagonal. And then to get the column, we get our start column. And now we're moving backwards. So we have to subtract off that diagonal. Right. So once we found, if we're on this queen right here, um, once we found the top of the diagonal, as we move through it, so this is the first location we check, then we increase um, the row by one and decrease the column by one. Right? And then the next time we increase the row, decrease the column. So that's why we're increasing the row, decreasing the column. So for each block we get on, we check to see if chessboard at 
row and column uh, has our queen in it. And then if it does, we got to do the same check we did before. Remember how we check to see if um, that queen that we found, if that's just the queen that we are on, we want to do that same thing. So this is the exact same check we did before. And now I need to see if I am inside the chessboard, or I will be inside the chessboard um, on my next move. So I'll use my inside chessboard function. And I'm going to pass in the uh, row that I just checked, plus one, because I'm moving in the positive direction, and the column on, I'm on, minus one, because I'm moving in the minus direction. And I think uh, that is going to bring us to completion. Let's see if that works. So now we're having to check uh, 200,000 uh, different times for that. So, yeah, we're up well above the 100,000 and sometimes even close to 300,000. So I'm just kind of spot check these, see if I can find any queens in danger. And I'm not seeing any. If there are any specific, if I'm, uh, have some doubts about, um, areas that are tested, I could put in some specific boards in specific locations and check those. And just like we did, um, up here with the unsafe board, um, I could redefine that to be whatever I wanted it to be. But this looks like it is working. That code is running.